This video's performance element is to analyze cost and profit relationships to guide business decision making. And we will start by explaining the concept of productivity. So productivity is the output per worker hour that is measured over a set period of time, such as a week, month, or year. And higher productivity increases profits. So some ways to increase productivity in a business is to invest in new equipment, technology, and facilities, to provide additional training to staff, and to increase the responsibility that workers hold. Next, we'll analyze the impact of specialization and division of labor on productivity. So, as I said in the previous slide, productivity is the measure of worker output over a given period of time, and specialization and division of labor are important elements to increasing productivity. So, the theory behind this is that work can be completed faster and more efficiently when workers specialize in a certain area of production. An assembly line is an example of specialization and division of labor, and automation is the use of machines to do the work of people. Automation can cut production time, reduce errors, and simplify procedures, leading to greater overall productivity of the business. Explain the concept of organized labor and business. So, an, an association of workers united as a single representative entity for the purpose of improving the workers' economic status and working conditions through collective bargaining with employers, also known as a uh, workers' union, is... A, a, a type of organized labor. So the two types of unions are horizontal and vertical unions. In a horizontal union, all members of the union share a common skill. So usually in a uh, organizational hierarchy or business hierarchy, all the members of a horizontal union are on the same level. So they all usually have the same type of job. In a vertical union, the workers will all be from the same industry, but they can be of many different levels in many different positions. The only thing that matters is that the industry they have is in common. Explain the impact of the law of diminishing returns. So, the change in total product output that results from hiring one more worker is called the marginal product. Diminishing returns is experienced when the number of workers being utilized cause, causes output to increase at a decreasing rate. So on the right here, you can see that um, the output is a function of the number of workers being hired and as the number of workers increases the total product does not increase at a steady rate so it does start to increase at a smaller rate which means that the rate of increase in output is lower when you have more workers so utilizing too many workers may actually cause production to decrease and that's the end of this performance element